District Clinic's really special in that it can provide access for children who otherwise wouldn't receive care. Um, we're not bound by any red tape or regulations, and so we have freedom to really meet the need of the families in a holistic way. My name is Tiffany and my son, Owen, and we've been coming here since he was about six weeks old. When Owen was born, his pediatrician noticed right away that he had a foot deformity. We noticed um, that his neck also tilted a lot, so Dr. Chang recommended that we come here, and that's when we met Karsti. I think Owen is really reflective of a lot of the patients that we get here at Tishner because they get referred for one thing, and then we kind of realized that there's other things going on as well. His torticollis was pretty severe, so his neck uh, range of motion flexibility was very limited. And I think the fact that he had this low muscle tone creates weakness throughout the body. Having to deal with both of these issues and manage both of the issues, I think, was one of the challenges. With our insurance, there's a lot of waiting time. You could be waiting three months just to get in with somebody. With the problems that Owen had, especially like with his neck, the sooner you get in to see someone, the better the, the prognosis will be at the end. A great success is always when you help the family feel empowered and that they can make a really positive change with simple things they can do at home. And with Owen, it's shown off. I mean, he's doing fabulous now. From where Owen started um, to where he is now, looking pretty much like a normal kid, I think that um, if we weren't here, that would have never happened. I think that the love and the care that we received here um, has made all the difference. Even though Owen still has lots of challenges and probably in his future he'll he'll have more. For this period of time, we are doing really well. We owe it all to here. We all we owe it all to Tishner and the therapists that we work with. It was a normal day. We were going to the beach in the afternoon and uh, Celine went to sleep around midnight that evening. Um, woke up with a very bad headache at three in the morning. Within an hour uh, it became very critical where she was not responding anymore and she started getting seizures and that's when we called 911. They found a pool of blood in her brain and uh, they eventually discovered that it was an aneurysm. When you see your own child, you know, that you could lose. So we went step by step from securing her life pretty much and uh, once the procedure was performed and they told us she's stable then we went to the second level I guess where we started worrying about what's gonna happen to her. Celine, um, she was a very interesting patient that I had. Like we were seeing her at least twice a week for at least I would say probably almost nine to twelve months. Her persistence was really something that was good for her because she knew what she wanted to do, but then there was just kind of like that gap where she needed to fill it. And then we helped her achieve that goal, getting just to the point where she can do her daily routine and studying and all that stuff on time and on her own. Russ was amazing. He always pushed me to keep doing exercises. Even when I couldn't do them, he would be like, Selene, I know you could do it, just keep trying. He, he made me like just do everything and it's because of him I'm like able to walk again, carry things again. They helped me like become who I am today. Like it was them who really, you know, allowed me to be myself again. Not everyone achieves their goals, but it's great to see the ones that achieve those big goals like Celine. With Tishner, they really uh, make, made a big impact on, on Celine's uh, improvement. They were all wonderful, and it felt like family towards the end. It's just uh, it's an amazing uh, thing, amazing work that they do over there. I first met Asiel back in October 2017, and he came in with a condition called a ruptured arteriovenous uh, malformation. So it's basically an abnormality of the blood vessels in the brain. And then there was a rupture because there was just too much pressure in those vessels. So he had a brain bleed. Empecé a buscar dónde dónde empezar como rehabilitar a mi hijo porque pues él tuvo un problema que tuvo un derrame cerebral. 
lo que se lastimó fue realmente del lado, del lado derecho. Podía mover los brazos, no podía caminar bien, um, no podía hablar bien. Volver a aprender todo. Volver a aprender a, a hablar, a caminar, poder como formar oraciones y todo eso. You know, even though he had a very severe um, condition, he had the willingness to really learn and improve and get better, so he really wanted to help himself. Mis mayores preocupaciones es que él no pudiera, no pudiera caminar, no pudiera hablar, porque eso era lo que los doctores me decían, que si él llegaba a despertar cuando él estaba en coma, que a lo mejor no se iba a mover, no iba a caminar, no iba a hablar. Siempre tuve esa fe de que yo no lo iba a ver como ellos me decían. Yo lo quería, yo lo veía como, como lo estoy viendo ahora. Thank you for everything they have done for me. Now I can walk and speak well because of them. So thank you. Something that really lights up my day is when I get to hear from a former patient and hear their story and their journey as they receive services at Tishner, and then also to hear how that, what a difference that's made in their lifetime. My name is Patty Martinez. I am a teacher at Wilson High School in Long Beach. This is my 32nd year teaching. When I was about three years old, my mom had noticed by that point that I was not walking correctly. She noticed I walked on my toes on my right foot and so she sent me with my father to the orthopedic surgeon and so Dr. Stegman watched me walk and noticed that that was not normal. Within a month I was already taken to community hospital, put under anesthesia and already in my first cast. The care I got started at the age of three continued until I aged out at the age of 18. A lot of money devoted to my care that Tishner put into my case. I'm pretty convinced that I wouldn't be walking today without Tishner. You know, I started there so young that I think it helped in the formation of the teacher I am today that I'm accepting of my students' differences and they know they can come in here and they're not gonna get judged. I really think Tishner helped to form me as being such an accepting type of person. And I'm just so thankful for having that experience.